Lepsy Warriors. How are you guys doing today? It's Christine, as always. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things. Uh, so I've been having a lot of seizures lately, like the nocturnal, or not nocturnal. I've always had those, but the tonic-clonic ones. And um, mine are very different than the ones that I've seen. I just want to ask if any of you have these kind. Um, mine are kind of like mellow grand malls. And what I mean by that is like when I have it, I could feel my auras. And lately I've been getting nauseous. And sometimes the nauseous feeling can start from like an hour before, days before. But when it's going to happen, I know it. Like I just get this like uprising, nervous, scared, fearful feeling in my stomach and I'm like I'm gonna have one so good thing is I know when I'm gonna have one and I let whoever know around me that I'm gonna have one and um I just wanted to talk about how um how mellow mine are so when I go into it I don't just like fall out on the ground like I've fell before but um that was when I was standing but normally like I can feel them so I notice it down and when I have them like I always turn to this side and um, my eyes just start rolling and then on top of it like my hands start like moving a little bit but they're not like clenching and moving all crazy and then um, my feet a little too but they're not like shaking very bad. Um, and when I'm in it my hands go numb and my feet go numb and they feel like they're really cold. And then my husband told me the last one, my lips are blue. And it's obviously from probably the lack of oxygen from the brain. Um, the last one I had, it felt like I was going to go into another one when I woke up out of it. I was really tired, confused, and I kept shaking a lot. Um, I was very scared I was going to go into one. So I don't know if like I made myself like fight that seizure off, but... Um, the, the place that we were at, we went to, um, a swap meet and I was so scared. Like, thankfully my husband, he knows somebody at one of the booths. So I was able to sit down in a chair and then I leaned on my husband and I went into it. And because like there was a generating, turning the lights on and stuff, it was nighttime. So the generator, the noise, the smell, like it was a lot of sensory. So when I woke up out of my seizure, I really felt scared and I was just like shaking like a whole bunch. And I told him, I feel like I'm going to go on another one. But obviously I'm really tired at this point and I could barely talk. And he was waiting and he's like, I'll call an ambulance if you go into another one. And when I heard that, I'm like, I don't want an ambulance to pick me up. So I really felt like I was going to go into another one. But like I said, I was like fighting it and fighting it. Um, I told him I have to get up. And he's like, you can't walk right now. I'm like, no, I have to get up. And the reason being, like I said, that generator, like something about that noise and smell of it, like it made me feel like I was going to go into another one. So my husband um, put me on his lap because he's in a wheelchair and he rolled me away from that area. And once we got away, I felt a little better. I still felt met, like sick feeling, but I was like, okay, I think I can walk. And when I got off his lap, I was like, oh my God, my legs feel like I'm carrying like heavy bricks on them. But because I didn't want to have another seizure, I was like, let's just go to the car. Let's go to the car. And I was able to slowly walk to the car. And once I got there, I felt so much better, but I was very, very tired. So... That was my last seizure, and my grandmas are very mellow. Um, I want to know how your guys' seizures are. I want to know if your grandmas are, like, very um, tense and, like, you shake a lot, like, big convulsions. Um, like I said, mine are really, really mellow. And um, I don't know if they'll ever get to, like, those um, very, like, shaky, bad convulsions. But I would like to hear your input on yours, and I'd like to get some feedback. Thank you, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.